It's time for y'all to see the action that's been brought right to it. Here we go. Sinji and Jennin losers. Sinji hasn't been to a Xeno in like a minute, has he? Oh uh, no, Zeno he's saga, like he's... last week. Oh, last week? Yeah. Oh, he's Lord. got decent attendance. All right. Well, there you go. So we got Jen Sinji both in the losers bracket. Didn't see expect to see this in losers uh, top eight, but you know this event has like. A good amount of the New York PR on it. It's kind of crazy because does it have it has the buzz? Does it have like all of the members of the PR on it? No, because no, it, Dill, Dill isn't Dill here. Dill isn't here. Um, Nick isn't here. Nick isn't here. Okay, yeah. So not everybody, but like a good majority of it. Like a significant matter of the cast is here, but the fact that it's like an eighty-some odd uh, person tournament, but like a super majority of it's stacked. It's yeah, like seriously. these are all players that we know are solid to some degree, regardless of standing on the PR. Nonetheless, it's these guys who find themselves as the first match in the best of five territory for tonight's bracket. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, all top eight is going to be best of five, so make sure you keep uh, your eyes peeled because there are going to be some great sets, such as the one where we have bef <laughs> unfolding before our eyes right now. Oh, I thought he was going to combo up, up, uh, up air with that. He tried. <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> Attempt was made. I want to build up off of the thing I always bring up with Sinji. I always ha tell people, it's like, oh, make sure you know how to use items if you know you're fighting someone with items. Right. But there's the flip side of that. When you play an item character, you gotta know, like, hey, someone's gonna try to steal my stuff. Yeah, exactly. I gotta know my own counterplay. Right. You gotta play that that first dimension chess. You know, <laughs> first like, dimension. Yeah, it's, it's such like a, a simple thing when you think about so it. So regular chess. It's just super regular thing. It's like, <laughs> oh well, I guess I could be stolen from. What should I do? do Alan though looking pretty comfortable so far. I think he knows that he has to play at Sinji's pace until he's able to get a little bit of momentum out there. Using using his back air pretty nicely to just Go through everything that Sinji's throwing at him. Excellent patience right there. I know Jen came into this tournament fairly confident, and that confidence was only curbed by Kofi, actually. Yeah, he seriously. to defeat him 2-1 in the winner's side of bracket. Ooh, there we go. Excellent read on the DI in right there by uh, by Allen. And we see he's repping his, he's repping his brand new sponsor. Yep, third day esports having the, the quickest of pickups. I, I definitely agree with the pickup for sure. Whoa, oh, that was really unfortunate. Just at the very last second, he wasn't able to get that. Charge a little too long. Nope. He wanted the kill, bro. Either. Yes, this being one of the first tournaments that uh, Jen is repping third day under. See how well he's able to wreck that flag, because fighting off against Sinji is not the kind of player you want to see in the loser's bracket. Because even though he's, he's got more of that timid persona to him, Sinji's still just as fierce a competitor as any of the other people that's in this venue right Seriously. now. Seriously. Okay, get in a nice little back air right there, take off that stock right there. And of course, in regular Sinji fashion, doing a good job of making sure he doesn't take too much damage. Yeah, seriously, on the he, way he out. held that that stock like immaculately while taking it. He didn't like take any damage. It, it's Alan. I feel like is playing this like very slowly. I feel like he hasn't been able to get much mileage off against Pac-Man. I feel like you have to make the most out of your punishes because you really you don't know when your next chance will be to get that punish. I kind of like the slower approach though, just because like we see Sinji fighting off against. Palutena all the time. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, you know that Sinji has a game plan for this character and being around her tools. So, like, when you take the slower approach, like, you force those responses out oh of him faster. <laughs> he caught the, he bounced the bell, the bell off of Jen's shield and he was able to catch it again right after that. That's amazing. I love when he does that. Bell play is easily the hypest that Pac Man can do outside of his, like, really long, wacky strings because you know that Pac-Man gets so much off that bell. Like, if Sinji confirms a bell, he's right for the pickings for a smash attack. Jen's been doing a good job of catching Sinji's jumps. They, they have a moment where they're in close quarters to each other, and then Sinji will always be the one to jump first, so Alan's able to intercept that. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Just textbook, making sure he got the confirm. Sinji's got to start holding out on these down throws. Like, there's no real crazy follow-up that Palu can get if you're uh, DIing out, but my man died. This is the second time my man decided to DI in. Oh, oh, hold on now. Can't be doing that to Sinji. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Jen already getting him up to 66. Luckily not getting stage spike there. It's very pretty scary when you're off stage against Pac-Man. He has the trampoline right over you. Wow, the patience from Alan right now in shield. All wow. right. All right. The dare out of shield. He waited for so long. That's what I'm saying, man. You take that methodical approach against Pac-Man, you start to like break apart all of the, the wackiness. You Seriously. see the parts that make the character. You're like, oh, I could counterplay at this point. I have a tool for this situation. He, he managed to make sure to wait just like long enough to get the correct punish on Sinji. As soon as he saw that Sinji drop shield, he knew it was his turn. 
But Shinji has to be, I believe, a little bit more patient. Because while he's in shield, the only thing Alan's going to really be able to do is grab him. I, I feel like also just nearing away is probably also a good tool to do out of shield. I, I don't know what he's trying to go for out of shield exactly. He try, I think he tried grabbing right there, jabbing or something, and just got down there for it. It was just too slow of an option. Also, like, down air out of shield itself, fairly awkward option, but, like, hey, it worked. Taking a smash fill, though, for game number two. And we're gonna, we're gonna see... I, I love these just run-up shields by Alan. There's really, like, not much Sinji can do. Like, grab is a big overcommitment. It's a little bit better than it was in 4, but it's still a pretty big commitment for Pac-Man to make, so... Alan sitting in shield is definitely going to be the play here for most of this game. I think it's really just a matter that, like, run-up shield is such a good response to a character like Pac-Man. Yeah, because for sure. everything has to set up a little bit. He's got fairly decent startup on all tools except for, like, jump or forward air. And that's not really, like, the best of burst options, you know what I mean? I think my man was trying to read a roll there. Didn't quite get the read on it. Just wanted to make sure. I thought, yeah, both these guys just playing the good old nooch right now, trying to trying to wait for each other to overcommit. Since he's got that uh, Galaxian in hand. Defensive play on Smash is not something we see too often, but out of these two characters, I feel like they can perform so well because of the situation. Like, you know Sinji's gonna be running to the other side. He's got all of that space between the center plot and the ledge to control with his tools. Wow, that was so good by Alan, disabling right there with the, uh, the F-Tilt. And he, his ledge trapping's really good right now. He's just keeping Sinji. Oh my God! Why would you ever? My Who man went to the library, said, yes, I'd like to check out Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss, read the hell out of it, and then checked out the next book on Sinji. Let me Sinji. get Best of Sinji Volume 1 on that. <laughs> Delectable. That was yes. wild. My man rolled right into that. There was no reason for him to I roll know. either. He wasn't even that pressured. So, sometimes it's like the you know when you're you're playing another sport, you're trying to flinch to get someone to react first. That that's basically what Alan did there. Except the the, the motion he did was actually an actual punch. The All right, yeah, catch, gonna catch it. All right. Oh, that was so that's slick. Cute. Alan All playing. Right. Alan's uh, Alan's item play has been pretty great so far. He's been managing to catch the bell pretty much every time it's been out. He's been using it against Sinji immaculately. Great wow. up tilt. Up. He caught the like jump it. from ledge. It's a fairly wide move, and we only ever really see it to catch jumps. It's probably one of the like least seen tools. Wow. Wow, just going so deep too. Wow. It, it, it's 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 really a testament to how confident one can be in a matchup when they've played it a ton. I feel like if. Like he's just playing so confident. Yeah, seriously. Like he, like, he he's really he's getting in his head and he's he's mixing up his options accordingly. So Sinji's never able to get the complete read and adaptation as to what fruit he should be using in what situation. <laughs> Sinji said no on the left with you nope. today. Get that out of here. And I, I love how Alan also just isn't afraid of the bell when it's coming out. He's been using the bell more effectively, and I feel like Sinji has, and that's Whoa. something that never happens. He's been hitting him with it a ton too. Like, he's getting it off the field, and then he's making sure to use it as a call-out to any of Sinji's more aggressive approach options. Ooh. Okay, good grab right there. I feel like he could have opted for another throw right there besides F throw, but maybe he just wanted the... Uh, That's good. what I like to see. Man. Great. That was really good patience by Jen right there. Knew knowing that he, if he went on stage, he would have gotten hit into the trampoline, into the apple, just avoiding it. You, re you really have to... This is, I feel like, the only type of adaptation you can get when you've played Pac-Man before several times. Like I feel, I feel like Alan is just so, so in on all of Sinji's tricks. That being said, though, trampoline on stage is not something we've seen a lot of from Sinji, and in general, we don't see too often from uh, from Pac-Man players. But we have been seeing an increasing amount during this tournament. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like it would be a good option against Jen, just because he's been doing a lot of his trapping from uh, grounded play. He's not spending a lot of time in the air, so grounded trampoline will force him into that kind of a situation. Trying to keep him at bay on this ledge right here. That was actually the perfect angle to launch the tram uh, the the hydronat too because it's just right before the ledge. He, he he's been playing like Jen has just been playing so masterfully around every tool and he's been using Sinji's own tools to his advantage this entire game. Not not something we're too used to seeing honestly. Like seeing Sinji forced off of his uh, character based tools and down into the depths of hell. I gotta take out my jacket for that one. Alright, I think I'm coming down with the vapors after that one. Jesus. Yeah, that was a 
Like, we see Pouts and a dare, but that was Pouts and a dare. Oh, Lord, like, look at that. Boom! She put the foot down. down. Right before. Was that a two frame? I don't think. I don't know. No, yeah, I don't think he had enough. It was a two frame? Yeah, okay. Watch. Jesus Christ. Does he reach for the light? Does Pac Man try? All right. A gobble, 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 gobble. Wow, he yeah. did. He grabbed the ledge. Good eye, Devin. Wow. Got Good an eye. Eagle, eagle eye. Devin Eagle oh, Eye Ruben. He, he gets the, the replay on repeat while we're trying to discuss it. You guys have it too. Yeah, but we're looking at one big screen. Yeah, but our brain is yours. Game 3 is bringing us to Final Destination. <laughs> and this might be Sinji's uh, last hurrah here for this bracket. As, as, as Jen is showing the utmost of confidence. Running it back to FD. It, it, it's a bit of a statement when Pac-Man gets... Be oh, well, sorry, not running it back to FD. In fact, it's the first time I believe it. Correct, correct, for this game. But, like, I feel like we've never really seen anyone dissect Sinji this hard it, it, in insane. one set. It, it, it's truly showing mastery over a matchup for the character. Because and, like, he, he's, he's not only, Jen is not only using Pac-Man's own tools against them, he's, he's beating him at every He's just keeping curve. Sinji from yeah. playing the game. Yeah, literally. Not just his game, the game. The, like, the, 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 be the best defense is a great offense. Wow, but sneaking in that F smash right there in Sinji. Now, now this is where Sinji can start to pick up a bit more of momentum. Pac-Man not being the most momentum-based character, but Sinji's really good at holding his stocks. And if he can just play his game for the rest of this uh, this game, he, he should be able to get it out. You know, let's just not forget the fact that Sinji is one of the most like aggressive Pac-Man when it comes to the top Pac-Man players. <laughs> Sinji! <laughs> Sinji was like, that grab... Really didn't work. Like what the hell? Ma'am. <laughs> not ever. visibly destroyed. I I I can agree with that. It is better in this game, but it's still a very vast not overcommitment as the grab doesn't hit you instantly if it if it's from a, a certain mid range away. You're my favorite. <laughs> You're my favorite. <laughs> I have coffee, so it's okay. <laughs> still though, Alan keeping it pretty even right here. Wow, that, that was the perfect explosive Alan flame right there. Has just He's like opted out of responding to things when it comes to Sinji. Like, Sinji starts to set up shop, and he's just watching. Jen has done such a good job of making sure that he recognizes what setup Sinji wants to go for, and then nullifies its presence on stage. Either Sin using it in his own or just telling Sinji, no, try again. Sin Sinji just sending the you up text, and Alan just leaving him on red every single time, bro. Last red, 11, 13 p.m. All right, though, Sinji calling him on the phone right now, saying, I'm going to take the stock from you. Oh, and the big damage coming out right now. Almost at 50% combo right there. Well, it's yeah, still I mean, going. And, you know, he started his second stock at nearly 49% as well previously, just because Sinji had a solid combo out the gate. Like, this is the Sinji we've become used to seeing. Like, you Try see the combos, you see the shenanigans that lead to it, you see the multiple layers of set play across the stage. Like. But the problem is that it took us to get to Final Destination, and Sinji's back against the wall the entire way for us to really see it. Ooh. Tried to throw it right there, but ended up getting it knocked right out of his hand. And we're going to see... What? Yikes. I, I knew that Goop went through the stage, but I didn't know the Reflect could also send it back through the stage as well, which does make sense, because the, the item does retain its original properties upon being reflected. And Egg just sneaking by him. I mean, Michael Jackson smooth criminal him. Ralphie turning around like, what? How? He's like, really? Like, yo? <laughs> He's like, really? And it's going to be a quick 44 right there. For... Now, does that does that turn the hitbox back on to... It just adds CG? damage. Okay. Because, like, in itself has a hitbox. Like, I'm not sure if you know how, how Hydrant works, but, like, it's an active hitbox. just doesn't do damage or knockback. But, like, it'll activate counters. It's kind of weird. But Apple keeps Sinji alive. Yeah, now Sin finding... counting 2-1. Really just caught the jump with it again. Like it's it's super good because it comes out hella quickly and it'll catch you on your downward, so your vertical will get completely stuffed out by that apple every single time. Good stuff to Sinji on that. I actually really like that game play from Sinji. We we have a pulse, dude. There's a pulse. And it's like the first couple of games, you know Pac-Man's a more patient player. Yeah, Anyone absolutely. who's used to seeing this character knows that it's like, alright, things are gonna slow down a little. Very bold of Jenna Vegas back to everything. Really? Okay. I mean, what? I think... Uh, he, he played it well. I think he played the stage well. It's just like, 
Oh, Sinji outplayed him. It's interesting because he, uh, Battlefield, Smashville, and Town were all potential counter picks that uh, Jen could have chose. And uh, he didn't pick him. He opted to go right back to FT. I guess he felt the game was close enough, which it was. It was, it was a last stock game, so getting him right through the hydrant. <laughs> the littlest of hits. Littlest of hits. It's a vibe check, bro. Ooh, and catching the Galaxian as well. He's just trapping Sinji like into the corner, like very, very nicely. Well, that's what you got to do against any type of player on FD. You got to catch all of those landings. Okay, trying to get the second up here. Not going to quite get it though. These guys, I, I, I love how fine Allen is with resetting back to neutral every single time. He, he's confident that he can play patient enough to contest, to kind of play Sinji's game. Oh, here we go though. Well, that's the thing that I was trying to bring up earlier is that, like, yeah, we know Pac Man's a patient player, but we also know that uh, character, but Sinji himself, can be a little bit more aggro. And, like, we've seen this from other characters in this and that was the, the littlest <laughs> fire just, hydrant that could. God he damn. just stood there, bro. He was like, this isn't going to hit me. Like, once Sinji started turning up the heat and getting a little bit more, like, aggressive, look how well this match has turned in his favor. It went from being a slaughterhouse for Jen to. Sinji making a really even cut to the match. I think, I th I don't know too well if I honestly, it was a close game last time and I think Jen is fine with being confident here. But this is, you're, you really want to run it back to like Pac-Man's best stage. This is even Palutena's best stage, arguably. So I, I'm, I feel like Palutena just operates so well on this particular stage list. I'm, I'm a concerned parent. I, I don't want my child out after, after 8 p.m. <laughs> I need him back home. Excellent back air right there. Just placing to get the neutral get up right there. Sinji kind of just getting cornered right there. Excellent explosive flame. I, I like these explosive flames because they catch Pac-Man while he's in his charging animation. He, he's just checking Sinji saying, all right, you, you're not going to be able to build up research. Oh, boy, did you see it? That did you read, see? Though. That was a read. Like, you, you're going to jump. keep jumping out of my hits? Jump into this. Pa Pally Wall be a character that tends to jump quite a lot within both her neutral and her disadvantage. Like... Excellent awareness by Sinji right there to just call that out. Just bouncing off his trampoline. My boy. My boy's at Sky Zone right now. He's trying. Ooh. Oh, I wanted to see a back air so badly there. I don't think he was sure about how that was going to knock him up. Yeah, so the teleport, I believe, has... Yo, he almost set it up for for Jen to go into the last touch of the trampoline. The, tele the teleport has over 10 frames of startup, I believe. Or something like that. So you can hit you can hit Palo oh, yeah. out of it pretty nicely. All of the all of the teleport style like recoveries in this game have that little bit of startup. Warp is no exception. Yo, he just decided to up air through it. Oh. Okay, getting the fair right there out there. Ignoring the hydrant, uh, it's no longer able to dispense water. Okay, Jen Jen doing a pretty good job of less trapping Sinji, but excellent patience by Sinji right there. And he's got the bell back out once again. He opts for the key instead. I like that because it's a good check. If, if people, one of Sinji's favorite punishes to go for is if people are trying to destroy the hydrant, he'll opt to go for the um, the key to catch them out of their hit. In that situation, though, I don't think he had a ch choice. Yeah, no, he had to. He had to throw it immediately because of the f the explosive flame that locked him into that situation. Right. That being said, though, Sinji's trying to manage the situation as well as he can. He's keeping the damage on that back air. Even taking the hit from the explosive flame helped even it out. Uh, a little, a little greedy right there by Jen to try and go for that. Um, oh, oh, this is gonna oh. be scary. Oh, he's just building the damage. Just keep him at the ledge, make it a safe and easy fight for you. Just because Pal with no jump is also like incredibly vulnerable to getting hit because the teleport takes such a long time to start up that she's really sitting duck. Ooh, okay. Back to ledge trapping. Not going to quite get the fair there, but the Nair catching. Nair is probably one of the best tools in this matchup in particular, just because if Sinji tries to play a quick jump and attempts to use a Hydrant to get out of there, he'll get hit. Okay. Galaxian being thrown Z out. Oh. The Z drop. I like the Z drop opt. I like that 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 select right there by, uh, by Jen. I feel like any other item would have been like better. Wow, the parry to catch him. Yeah, one wrong move by Sinji at ledge here is going to spell curtains for him. Not opting to jump until he went in for the dash grab. Great patience by Sinji. There's the bell, but back there is going to manage to catch him out. And just like that. And Sinji's going to fall mm -hmm. to Jen. It's a 3-1 count in Jen's favor. He's staying alive, but Sinji's out at seventh place That's tonight. That's crazy. Because, like, 
for Sinji, like for Sinji's a a top thirty player in the world. Like he's good. That's 